So, my cat died today. It was at least the twelfth time I've experienced a cat death. I mean, death is nothing new to us. But it's, it's still hard. It's still sad. It still takes a toll on you. Even the cat is somewhere between 96 and 104 years old. <laughs> you know? That's how old he was in cat years, we figure. He lived a good long life. And, um... I don't know, I guess I was, you know, I was just thinking that it's, um, just, just death. <laughs> it's, it's just such an interesting thing in this realm because, uh, you know, when you get down to it, we all came here to die. And death is the ultimate experience in this realm. Um, at least I think so. Matt from Quantum of Conscious Channel talks about the half page and, uh, you know, that you're here to do what you need to do. And yeah, that, that, that whole idea can just, you know, it's, it's written up in a half page. Worry about yourself. Fulfill your purpose. Have a meaningful life. And fucking die. But then that's where I argue is that we can just we can just boil it down to that last sentence is just we came here to die. And not to be like morbid about it <clears throat> or anything like that. Yet if we're if we're really talking philosophically about what life is all about and if if we're genuinely these infinite beings moreover if we are the infinite being of source god universe whatever you know this life spark that holds us all together that is infinite that will go on forever that cannot die well then it it is um, reasonable to suppose the possibility that the entire purpose of the realm of Earth is only to experience death. The bonus is that we get the separation from God, disease, anguish, Anything that isn't bliss, everything on the opposite side of the coin of good, right? But, ugh, oh, no, then, then we're going to get into other things. Because if there's two sides of the coin to life, and you live infinitely... Maybe death is a possibility in the spiritual realm as well. Maybe you have a choice to end. Or maybe there is no choice. Maybe everything will eventually end. That end brings a beginning. Round and round we go. And I guess that's where we get stuck, isn't it? And how do you not get stuck in a freaking Ferris wheel ride? The wheel of fortune spinning round and round. 
Because that's the thing, right? Wheels won't end. They're spinning. Unless the atoms all slowly pull away, disintegrates into nothing. But even then, then the atoms are there. The particles. Little bits that float off, carrying life. Each one of those particles has the potential to, to build a wheel out of itself, to start it all over again. When you get too grand with your thoughts, it really brings you back down to the basics, but again, that's that's what I'm saying here, right? It all spins around. Endings lead to beginnings. Pisces goes into Aries. It all just continues. Is there ever an ending? I'd like to hope, I guess, or think, for the sake of what life is, that there is no ending. There is no ending, or else how does life exist? Because if, if Source was gone, if God was gone, if the universe just blew up, like NASA claims it might one day, then, then that's it, right? But is, is that really it? We're so fascinating in that life cannot be defined by a half page or a sentence or fucking an entire internet of information. You just, you can't figure it out. And there's a real beauty in that. It's the experience. It's a dangerous liaison, says the comedy, is that it's serious. Which is a strange enough new play on words. You see, the tragedy is how you're going to spend the rest of your nights with the light on. So shine the light on all of your friends. Because it all amounts to nothing in the end. It's a Jason Mraz lyric, for anyone who didn't catch on. Not a pseudo-original. Yeah, alright. So anyway, my cat died today. And it sucked. I miss him so much already. Oh.